Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is Floss Tube Day and it is my 245th Floss Tube and today is November 10th, 2024. Where did nine, ten, nine days go? Yeah, I don't understand. We have our September cup. And yeah, we did a few things last week. Today we have Green Tea with Jasmine by Simple Truth. I believe it's called. Well, I can't read it. Yeah, Simple Truth Organic. Holy cow. It's like, what does that all say? And as you can see, I got my hoodie on today because I don't know what the temperature is. Maybe in the 50s, 60s. Yeah, it's starting to cool down. Yeah, we did a few things. And on top of it, my daughter and I got to go fishing. That in itself was fun. Yeah, it was fun, but it was windy. It was kind of chill, chilly, but I mean, it wasn't freezing or anything. But yeah, we had a a good time. As long as you can laugh and carry on and nobody cares, you know, and there was nobody where we were at. Oh, there was one guy in the beginning and he had a dog and my daughter kind of yelled at him to let him know that there's hooks and line and sinker and stuff down there that I might get into. And he called his dog back and not too long after that, he left. So we were by ourselves basically the whole time that we were out. Um, and there wasn't a lot of people in the parking lot. So it was, what was that, Thursday? I think it was Thursday. Could have been Friday. Might have been Friday. Yeah, that's how my, my life goes. Because, you know, if you give it two days, I'll forget. So we write things down. So, you're here for the cross stitch. Welcome if you're new. We do cross stitch, diamond painting, and beaded cross stitch. Every once in a while, we'll drag out the uh, embroidery, but not too much on the embroidery. Yeah, I had, what was it, the first 18 years of my life was consumed in embroidery, embroidery, you know, and cross stitch. I did some then, but yeah. So anyway, welcome, and I hope you like what you see, and if any of you like what you see, like, subscribe, do all the things. Yeah, I am five away from, five subscribers away from hitting 4,500 subscribers. I never thought I'd get to 100, so yeah. So we're on the road to 5,000. Let's get there, guys. Yeah, because that, that was one of my five-year goals. So, let's see if we can do that. All right. As to what I did last week, I had three company reviews. And I did review an item that I got from Amazon. So, yeah, that means that we had five stars. You know, we need to start something else because we we we're just have a lack of things to do around here. Not. Welcome to the old subscribers too. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. Thick, thin. Yeah. I appreciate each and every one of you. I want you to know that. Some days I just can't get it together. So, you know, I figure we're all about in the same place. You know. And then others, you know, you, you'd you never know that there was anything wrong. Yeah. It sucks getting old, huh? All right. This is in no particular order. And this one I had to go hunting for because I put it in its own bag. And then I put it in this trunk. This corner is getting kind of small over here because it, it's consumed. It's probably... 
two feet wide. Yeah. So it sticks out. And then when you open it up, you have to pull it out from the wall. We're so glad we got it. Really, really. Carry on, Laura. You're, you're blabbering again. All right. So we started this one. And this is the one that's upside down on the canvas or sideways. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's good. Yeah, no. No, actually, it's it's going well, and there are a lot of, um, like, solid color symbols and symbols that are not hard to figure out sideways, if you will. So, we started, and holy cow, I guess I worked on that a little bit more. Just a minute, there is a red dangling. So, yep, you really can't hardly tell where I worked. But I've been working on this flower over here and whatever was below it because I wanted to use that 3, 8, no, not, nope, 9, 9, 6, that beautiful blue. Oh, yeah. So you can see more of where I stitched over there. So, yeah. We're just taking things a little bit by a little bit. Figure out how to close this stupid thing. Because I got threads dangling from 15 different directions. But I really like it. It's not too big. It's a 40 by 50. So we'll just keep on working on it. Oh, got the paper. Yep. And another one. I just got this one this week from Amazon and it's in a Joy Sunday bag but it really doesn't it does not look like a Joy Sunday the kit when you get it out is that not gorgeous look at those birds and them flowers love them yep so we got threads hanging again but yep started in that upper right hand corner and still have not gotten any more done. Yep, no. Just, I had, think I had starditis last week. Oh my God, would you just fold? Yeah. And it's a nice canvas, even if it might be a issue. It has a Y in front of it. I don't know that that means anything one way or another. So, I had, I dropped my list. Sorry. Yeah. So, don't know. And this one I got from GBFKE. Oh, I pulled it out. Holy cow, there are strings. I had this out last night. Yeah. Is that not cool? It says one cannot have too many cats. One is definitely enough for me. Yeah, because... She's a little finicky, and she'll never sit here like Molly. Never. You know, I'll say that and next week. She'll be the first thing on the couch, yeah. So, anyway, I've been working up here on this cat. So, trying to get... Well, I got the... Hold it. A needle right there. 310 black in that cat's face. Got that done. And then I started putting, I believe it's B50. B5200. Couldn't remember if it was that or 3865. So, yep, that's where we're working. I really want to start on this cat right here. Yeah, that marmalade color cat. But as you can see, that's all I got done on it. And you can see it better from here. So... I really like this one, and it's not very big. Not very big at all. Very nice. Love it. And one of the next ones that I started came from Diamond Art Decor. That back in there. 
and that is the bee house i like it i like the colors it looks kind of autumn-y if you will so i just basically focused i know focus is a real problem with me I, can you tell on this little honey jar so i just got that part to do there i did get the word honey in I know, broke my own rules, because, you know, we don't do the back stitching till the end, but, yeah, I just had to have that word there. And I just need to fill that in and then back stitch around the whole thing. So, yeah, I think it turned out really well. So, yeah. And I like it, too. It's nice. It's small. It doesn't have a lot to it. There's going to be more back stitching than anything else. But the stitching part is pretty straightforward. And the kit was not wet. So, you know, that is what we're dealing with this month. Is every third Joy Sunday I get has been wet somewhere. I know it's not on my end. So, yeah. And the last start I had, I can't remember who I got this from. Oh, Biggest Craft. Biggest Craft. I actually wrote it down, but I didn't write it on the bag. I really should. I usually, if I start something, I'll write that I started it and what date and what store I got it from because it really helps in the long run. Oh, I forgot to show you the picture. <laughs> How special are we today? Okay, so it is that Christmas tree. Yep. I really like this. It's just funky-ish. And, and just out there. Some days you just got to have something that's, you know, you can go ahead and have reality and all that, but you got to have something that's just over the top, you know, and I like this. It's not, it's not hard. It's a partial, and I believe there's some back stitching in it, but, you know, it is what it is, and it's, hold please, thread again. It's kind of long. But it, and it's got a lot of elements. I think I like that the best. And it's just easy. I wanted to get this last year, but I didn't. So, I've been working on the birds. And they're all going to have to be backstitched as well. But I would like to get back to this part. I pulled a whole six-strand thread of red so that I could work on that. So Because there's red. I think it's four... Four ninety eight, I believe. Yeah. So some are completed and some aren't. Some need the other color because I, I just run one, maybe two strands. I went kind of crazy and did two strands with red because, you know, I was really liking how that worked. So we just went with it. So, yeah, it's just kind of long and, and big. So those are the only starts that I had. And then trying to get it back in its bag. Let's not lose anything at this point. So on Sunday I thought, you know, I got a stitch on this. Just really want to because it's easy stitching. It really is. And there is no back stitch to this. This is Green Mountain Green Lake. And I got it from AliExpress. Do I have a date? 825 is when I finally got that. So, very nice. And I'm trying to figure out where I was stitching. Oh, it's right here. So, I've been trying. Okay, we started right in here. And then I wanted to see that rock. So, I've been working on the purples in there. And that, I don't know, mauve color, if you will. Just trying to get this edge done. So, yeah. I really like it. And like I said, it's very easy stitching. The problem is maneuvering this in my shoulder. But... Not going with it. Doesn't hurt today. So, yeah. We'll just go with that, right? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So, I really like working on this. It's easy, but there's a lot of 
enough material you have to maneuver. So I sat in my rocking chair and used it as a buffer because the air conditioner is like right there next to and the rocking chair. Yeah. So I used it as a buffer not to freeze to death from the air conditioning running. And I only had to run it for maybe an hour. And then I shut it off. I'm like, you know, we're freezing here. You're sitting on the couch with a blanket, but you got the air conditioning on. Doesn't work sometimes. All right. And this one came from One Day Saving. Is it not beautiful? It's my bead of cross stitch. So one night while I was just sitting there doing absolutely nothing, I finished... Well, yeah, I finished it. No, not happening. Okay, fold it, Laura. So those are the leaves up on top. So I got all of that done and started over here because I was using my... Oh, please. It's moved down. I have one sticky mat. I am ordering more from AliExpress. I'm not going to mess around with the stores. I know this is a tried and true company, so yeah. But I can't see I have beads on there on one side. So I just took the other side and just put one color of beads that I was working with and worked right through the beads. So yeah, it's worked out very nicely because those little lids, they're okay when you're sitting down, but I can't have them little lids on this. Um, not on this couch. No, they need to be anchored. So, that's how I did it. And it, it worked out just fine. Yeah. I don't know why I'm showing you this one. Because I got it out for about 10 minutes and went, nope. I just couldn't focus. I wanted to work on, you know how you really want steak. But you keep eating five other things before you actually get up and make yourself a steak. That's the way it was with this. Yeah. Because nothing else is going to do. So, that's the tiger. It's kind of a watercolor thing. And I'm not sure who I got this from right off the bat. Not, not a clue. I should have written it down. Another case of... Yep, I can look it up and write it down, but yeah, I have no idea. So, I thought, you know, get out that 310 black, got a whole thing. And, yeah, that's as much of the black as I got done. I just, I don't know. What, guess I wanted to work on 11 count. And that is everything that I worked on this past week. There might have been anything else that I accidentally put away because I just kind of cleaned up this corner because there was 30 kids over here that I was doing the buck and shuffle. Yeah. You have to do that. There, There's five on the floor that I didn't even work on last week. So, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, that's how we roll around here. I'm telling you. But it, see, if it's sitting right there, I'll pick it up and I'll stitch on it. But if it's something, but then, you know, you start stitching on it. And then all of a sudden your brain goes, well, what about, well, what about, well, where is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how that happens. Mm hmm. So, yeah. I have no idea what I'm going to be working on this week. I have no idea if anything will come in. And I know I did make that big order at AliExpress. It's money wise, it's a big order, but there's only four cross stitches in there. Yeah, Laura went a little bit shit nuts. Yep. As usual, don't want to talk about it, but it'll be here towards the end of the month. We'll just. We'll just say we're just going to be calm about this this time. Don't lose my package. <sighs> the post office. It's like my arch nemesis. All right, guys. I think that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.